Thank you. Well, tonight, Cleveland City Council's raising its voice in the debate over the future of Cleveland Brown Stadium. With negotiations happening behind closed doors, one council member warned today that moving the team outside the city limits will not come without a fight. Mark Namick, Signal Cleveland's managing editor, is here with us to break down the latest developments, and we so appreciate you being here. So um, let's break down, first of all, Congressman Brian Casey's statements today. He referenced the Art Modell Law, of course, former owner of the Browns. Talk to us about the significance of that. What does that law do? It makes any move or any negotiation a little more complicated. That law has been on the books since 1996 and was put in place after the team went to Baltimore. Uh, former state senator at the time, Dennis Kucinich, was the one who put that law in. And it requires two things. It makes you um, have to give the city at least six months notice if you plan to move the team and the real key here is that it would require you to put the team up for sale for a local group to try to get it and keep it here. Or they can work out a deal with the city to move free and clear. But again, it really is just there to complicate any move right now in the middle of negotiations. Okay, so I want to get to your take on one of Casey's co comments that he made in this announcement. Let's listen to this here. The Cleveland Browns. Uh, have to go through the legal process of leaving the city of Cleveland. Whether they want to move the team to Timbuktu or whether they want to move them to Brook Park or to Lakewood or to any other state, um, they have to uh, go before um, the city, Cleveland City Council, ask for permission to leave that team or to move the team, or they have to put the, give us six months notice and offer to put the team up for sale. So you pretty much just said that in so many words. Is, are they obligated to allow the city to purchase the team if they want, so, want well, to? Well, first of all, the Browns are not moving to Timbuktu. Okay? <laughs> they're, they're, Thank you for clarifying yes, that. They are really only talking about this, this option in Brook Park where they uh, put down a, a little bit f uh, of money for a land out there where they could build possibly a, a stadium with a roof. Mm -hmm. Um, Brian is right that the law does require them to come to city council for approval to leave or they, they do have to put it up for sale. Now what's interesting about it on this point, Christy, is that they, the Browns owners right now, benefited from this very law uh, several years ago when they bought the Columbus Crew soccer team. The owner then at the time was trying to move it to Texas and that law kicked in and kind of forced the hand of that owner to put it up for sale and the Haslam stepped in. So it is a real law, but right now this is a little bit of posturing coming from council who's been left out of the negotiations. We, we can't forget the fact that the lease is up in 2028. That's only four years away when you talk about renovating a stadium and building a new one. Talk to mm -hmm. us about the, the realisticness of yeah. that time. Well, for right now, the city had a self-imposed deadline of trying to uh, have an agreement, an, an informal agreement ready by the end of this quarter, which is right now, that's just passed. March 31st just left us. So they're a little behind on what they had hoped, but there still is, is time. Okay, good to know. Mark Namick, we appreciate your insight. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here. I know this is